The new Facebook home places a heavy emphasis on people first, apps second. Thing is, I'm not exactly a people person. Baby picture, baby picture, self-portrait, engagement photos, mounts at sunset, mounts at sunrise. She really hates Obama. But despite all that, I'm still enamored with HTC's first, the so-called Facebook phone. Why? Because with a push of a button, I can get rid of Facebook home. And therein lies the beauty. Hidden inside the HTC first is a Trojan unicorn, stock Android with LTE support. Like most phones, the HTC first comes set up with a skin over Android. Think Samsung's TouchWiz or HTC Sense. Unlike those phones, Facebook Home is incredibly easy to turn off. In fact, it's the first option in home settings. There's no rooting or hacking involved. I've now got bone stock Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. The HTC First is considered a mid-tier phone. At some point, all companies made a pact that high-end Android devices needed 5-inch screens. But I don't. I can use the HTC First in one hand and everything is easy to read. Sure, the phone's not as gorgeous as HTC's Amazing One, but with the matte back, it just feels better. Also, it doesn't do this. The truly devoted Android lover will probably still want to opt for the Nexus 4, and there are many good reasons to do so. It's got the latest version of Android, and it's got a tacit guarantee from Google that whatever version of Android comes out next, it's probably going to get pretty quickly. With the HTC First, there is no guarantee it'll be upgraded at all. But I can live with 4.1 for a couple of years. I've used Android in the past, and I've grown to accept being a version or two behind. Besides, I know it won't stop me from getting the latest apps. The other nice thing, it supports AT&T's LTE network, which isn't something any Nexus device does right now. That may not matter to everyone, but having spent months with an iPhone 5, I, I just can't go back to slower speeds. Yes, the camera is so-so, and truth be told, that'll be the one thing I really miss from my iPhone. But for Instagram and Twitter, it's good enough. I don't need the latest and greatest, and I don't want all the bells and whistles. I don't want a 5-inch device, but I need a break from my iPhone. And with the HTC First, I can't think of a better option right now.